Hello and welcome to Channel 4 on RTC. I'm Brian Etchison. And I'm Alec Garrick and we're here with Coach Zayner, the head coach of the Rochester football team. So Coach, how many seasons have you been coaching? This will be my eighth season coaching, uh, the second as a head coach. And what are you expecting this year from your team? Uh, I expect a lot. Um, I think we've had a pretty good off season, uh, probably the best strength and conditioning summer that I've had since uh, we've been here. Um, the biggest group we've had commit to the off season, and uh, I expect big things for this team. Was that new weight training program successful in your eyes? Yes, I think it was. I think we had about 85 to 90 percent attendance for the football team uh, throughout the summer. Um, probably the most I've seen commitment-wise for the football team since I've been here, and um, I guess. You know, when we play Eastbrook on the 26th, that that'll be the determining factor right there. Um, who are your seniors this year? Uh, I have a big group of seniors. I think we have 17 right now. Um, you know, that's that's the big thing for the off-season program. I think those guys stepped up and made a big commitment to the off-season, to the football team, to athletics in general. Um, you know, I give a pretty bit of help for them. Uh, our AD Ryan Helt and. Uh, you know, other coaches stepped up and was part of the program also with uh, Clint Guard, Rex Ryan Holt, Katie Felke, and myself. Um, Lucas Shane Hall's also helped out quite a bit. But those guys stepped up, and then we also had some help from assistant coaches like Brad Weaver, Austin Sossaman, and Bryce Roberts. Those guys all came in 6 a.m. in the morning to 8, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and a lot of the athletes did too. And uh, I think it's going to help all athletes, not just uh, the football program, but you're going to see it in volleyball, basketball, everything. So. But the seniors, back to the football team, the seniors, um, you know, these guys, they've been here four years, most of them. You know, Alex, one exception here, but uh, I think he's going to make a big impact for the uh, Zebras this year. Um, you know, a lot of them are going to see starting spots. Um, some, most of them are returning starters, um, but we're going to have some other guys, you know, position battles. Quarterback's a question mark right now, but, uh, you know, it looks like uh, Cy Holland right now has probably got the, the leading role right there. He needs to step up. We have, um, he's got good competition behind him with John Hunting and uh, Brett Abbott. So uh, quarterback position still up in the air, but uh, size probably in the lead right now. Um, you know, running back wise, we got How to Shell back, um, Carter Screeton in the backfield at fullback. Uh, offensive line wise, we need some some of those seniors to step up and uh, take control. I mean, we got tackle spots open from uh, the previous years, seniors leaving, um, guard spot open. Uh, center spots, so we need some guys to step up and take control on the offensive line. Defensively, I feel like uh, it's probably our strongest side of the football um, with eight of the 11 returners from last year. Um, we got positions up front to uh, fill. Returning wise, though, we have uh, um, Jordan Schaefer, who will be a junior this year, starting at defensive end. He started last year there. I expect him to step into that role again. Uh, Pat Kays, and then uh, our linebackers, all returning from last year. Um, secondary wise, uh, we might see uh, How to Shell and Katchke competing at safety. And then uh, corner side started there last year. And the other corner, you'll probably see uh, maybe Garrick, uh, maybe uh, Campbell. Got some seniors there that I see competing for that spot also. So. so, looking at your schedule, who will be your toughest opponents this year? I think if you look at our first two games, um, they're going to let us know where we're at as a football team. Um, you know, with Eastbrook, they're a top five team in 3A. Uh, we're 3A this year. I expect us to be right up there with them. So um, they're going to let us know where we're at as a football team. And then, you know, second week doesn't get any easier with Plymouth. They're a really good 4A team. Um, you know, if you look at the, the records between those two teams, they've beat us pretty good here the last few years. So um, I plan on competing and beating those guys. How do you expect the team to do this year? I uh, expect us, I mean, to compete for a conference. Um, since I've been here, there's only been one year we haven't won conference, and that was an overtime loss to Whitco. So I expect that. Um, that's one of our goals. Obviously, the uh, hickory stick against Plymouth, that's one of our goals. Uh, talking with the seniors, that was a big thing in the offseason. You know, set our goals. Um, why not set them high? We haven't won a sectional in since 2000. Uh, I think our sectional's wide open. We're a new sectional this year, 3A. Um, Jimtown's probably one of the favorites just because of their tradition. I know they've lost a lot of guys. Uh, Tipkinu Valley is always a big game for us, um, you know, the Bell game. But they're in our sectional also, so we got a chance we might see them 
uh, twice this year. Um, you know, they're in sectionals, and they've got to be a favorite also with uh, some of the returners they have coming back. Um, other than that, you know, conference, Hickory Stick, Bell, and then uh, obviously sectional. We've gone a long time without winning a sectional, and that's uh, one of our top priorities. Is there anything you want to add, Coach Zanner? Uh, yes. The first game is actually on the 23rd. Uh, we'll play Eastbrook here at home. Um, if you want to come out before then, we see uh, Jimtown the week before on the 16th. We scrimmage them um, both. Uh, Jimtown's a 7 o'clock start, and Eastbrook's a 7.30 start. Hope to see you there. All right, well, thank you for your time, Coach. I'm Alec Garrick. I'm Brian Etchison. And thank you for watching Channel 4.